Hello everyone. Today I'm going back to the Fallen Iceberg Trial Elite version, and I'm going to be doing it with a budget clear guide. Uh, this is going to be, you know, no rainbow units, and um, we're not going to be using Trust Masteries unless they were free from raids. Uh, there is one exception though, and I'm going to show you what that is. We are going to use a single three-star Trust Mastery that was not free, and that's going to be the Minervia Bustier because um, Mistia needs a little bit of help to reach high enough resistances for this fight. So she's going to be using Seals' Trust Mastery. Um, now if you've got Bosch or Chow, you actually don't need any help. They can get high enough resistance just you know, with their own gear selection. But Mistia's gear selection is kind of limited, so we have to help her out with one Trust Mastery. Uh, but the rest of her gear, though, is you know stuff from events like you know, Heidel and Guard from the Garuda Raid, etc. And um, so what you want to do is you want to get your ice and wind resistance. When they're combined, you want them to be at least 300%. So you see I have 135 ice, 165 wind. So there's 300 total. That means after the imperil, she will still be immune to the hail powder and the hurricane attacks. Because those are wind ice hybrid. So you need 200% combined to be immune to a hybrid a double element hybrid attack. Uh, you also want paralyzed immunity for your whole team, so she's going to be wearing the jewelry. Now my tank is going to be Snow, and he's chosen because he has innate draw attacks, and that combined with the mobile plushie, which we got from the Final Fantasy 15 raid, uh, will give him 80% passive taunt. That means on the ambush round, he has 80% chance to draw all those attacks to him which is going to protect the weaker members of the team, you know, because we don't get a chance to act immediately. Uh, and beyond that, he's just, you know, paralyzed immune, got some hit points, got some defense uh, materia, etc. And that's really his whole duty is just to passively draw those attacks. Uh, Garnet is going to be the healer. Now, she is also geared for immunity to the um, wind and ice attacks. You'll see that she's got um, 130 ice and 170 wind, and combined that makes her also immune to the hailstone on the ambush round. This fight is really all about surviving the ambush round. If you can stabilize after the ambush round, you've pretty much won. But um, yeah, so Garnet, if you enhance her princess passive, it gives her a lot of elemental resist just naturally, and it makes her a lot easier to hit that cap. She can actually do it without any trust masteries, kind of like you know, unlike. Mistia. Uh, so our DPS are going to be Veritas of the Heavens. Now he's chosen because he absorbs wind, so just all by himself with no changes, he is automatically immune to those wind-ice hybrid attacks in the ambush round. So other than that, he's going to be using uh, you know fire weapons, uh, paralyzed immunity, etc. And you know dual wield came from the uh, was it the Final Fantasy X Mog event. But it was, a, it was a free Trust Mastery, so we're going to be using that. Uh, but you do want Bushido Freedom on one of your DPS, because you need AoE Dispels on some of the rounds. So he'll be holding that one. And the second, Veritas of the Heavens, is the same thing. He's going to be using a you know, Fire Weapon, he's got Paralyzed Immunity from Assassin's Vest, and other than that, he's just got some damage going on. And so, with this team, as you can see, four out of five members are completely immune to the Hail Powder attack. And that's the big killer on the ambush round. If you can deal with that, you can almost always survive that ambush. The only one not immune is Snow, and if he dies, it's not too big a deal, because we can just raise him, and like I said, his taunt is almost is 80% passive. So just being alive means he's taunting, even, he, even if he hasn't had a turn yet. So the missions are... Uh, summon Ifrit, uh, use a five-man team, which is the reason we're not using a friend, and no limit burst. So let's get into it. So there's going to be two lasers at first, then some melee attacks, as well as the hailstone. Now hopefully the hailstones hit, you know, four of the five members that are immune and leave Snow alone. Okay, here comes the Hailstone attacks. Okay, they hit Brutus of the Heavens, as you saw they were healed. Okay, perfect. 
And now Snow also counterattack, you know, which can give us some extra crystals, which will make this a little bit quicker. Okay, no extra crystals, that's fine. So Misty is going to go ahead and try Tell Your Wall. That's going to cover. Now, she is now um, immune to the Hailstones and the Hurricane, so that'll deal, you know, no damage now. Uh, so we're going to chain Heavenly Wind with the two Veritases. Uh, Snow is going to just guard himself. Because he's still passively taunting. And we're going to dual White to heal up with um, Garnet. So we're going to do those heals. Now hopefully we can fill the Esper Gauge. Hmm, not quite. That's okay. Right there's the Hurricane that Mistia covered, but she's immune. Here's the Hail Powder that Mistia is covering, she's immune, so no one takes damage. Alright, excellent. So let's go ahead and Heavenly Wind again. Do some more chaining. There's the Esper Gauge. Nice. Alright. Uh, Misty is going to go ahead and drop a Turbo Ether on Greedus of the Heavens. Uh, Snow will continue to guard, and will continue to dual cast heals with Mystia. Now this turn, the boss is going to put up a immunity buff that you need to dispel. And that's why we gave one of our members, um, uh, what's it called? Bushido Freedom. As you can see, they're taking one damage because they're currently immune because of um, that buff they put up. So we're going to go ahead and Bushido Freedom that buff away. Excellent. And this Freedus will just guard for this turn. Actually, no, he's going to feed a Turbo Ether to himself. Uh, Misty is going to refresh her cover. Garnet is going to dual cast heals. And Snow will just guard again. Okay. I think this turn, we're going to go for the kill. We're going to do a chain and cap it with Garnet with her summoner, uh, summoning Ifrit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do Heavenly Wind. And Heavenly Wind. Uh, Mystia is going to Elixir herself, just to be safe in case we don't win here. Because we're not going to have a heals. And let's go ahead and go for the win. So we summoned Ifrit. And there it is. Ifrit, you know, does great damage when summoned with Garnet. So a pretty easy trial. Like I said, you know, the, the big thing of this trial is surviving turn one. And if you've built a team like this one that has pretty much all the contingencies covered for turn one, it should be you know, very, very minimal um, RNG. I'm actually going to level soon. Oh, nice. Anyway, uh, there's the Fallen Iceberg Trial All Missions with a very cheap to build team. And that's, that's actually not even using a friend. So if y'all, you know, or y'all don't have some of the gear that I use, maybe from an old event, ask a friend to set up a unit with 
the same setup. See y'all next time.